Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve the 30 second question from CBSE class 10 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section D where each question is of 5 marks. Now this question is from the statistics chapter and it has an OR question as well which we will be discussing in the same video. The marks obtained by 80 students of class 10 in a mock test of mathematics are given below in the table. Find the median and the mode of the data given. So let us try to understand the question first. So there are total of 80 students of class 10 who appear for a mathematics mock test and these are the marks obtained by the 80 students. So these marks are given in this following format that is 0 and above, 10 and above and so on. So we need to change this data into a group data class interval. So that would be our first step over here. So here a table is drawn where the marks and the number of students are not changed. It is same as the question. But I have included an additional column over here where the marks are being changed into a group data or class interval format. So 0 and above and 10 and above. So in between 0 and 10, we are taking the class interval 0 to 10, 10 and above, 20 and above. So this range is taken as 10 to 20 and it goes on and for the last one you can see 90 and above which is from 90 till 100 and 100 and above there are no students that is 0 so we are going to keep this one empty. So let us consider this column to find the median and the mode of the given data and let us find the median first. Now this is the table we are going to consider that is marks which we had got in the group data format. Then the number of students which was given in the question was the cumulative frequency because it started with the total number of students. So they have already accumulated all the data and they have given it as 80. So we need to find out actual frequency that is how many students actually scored between 0 and 10 and how many students actually scored between 10 and 20 and so on. Then we are going to find the last column that is the cumulative frequency and here we are going to use the less than type cumulative frequency. Let us see this later and find the frequency first. Now between 0 to 10 it is not possible that all the 80 students have scored between 0 to 10. So to find the number of students who have scored between 0 marks and 10 marks we are going to subtract the 77 from 80 to get the frequency. So we write here. 80 minus 77 is equal to 3. Next we do 77 minus 72 we get 5. Similarly 72 minus 65 we get 7. So using the same pattern let us find all the frequencies. So next we have taken 65 minus 55 that gives us 10. Then 55 minus 43 is 12. 43 minus 28 is 15. 28 minus 16 is 12, 16 minus 10 is 6 and 10 minus 8 is 2. Now for the last one, for the last cumulative frequency, we do not have any number to be subtracted. So we keep the last term C, that is 8. Now once we have got this, let us focus on the cumulative frequency that is less than type. Now in the less than type, we are going to start adding the frequencies from top to bottom. So the frequencies are going to get accumulated as we go down and the final frequency or cumulative frequency which you get should be equal to 80 that is the total number of students given in this question. So let us start with the first one where we keep the first frequency same that is 3. Next we are going to add this 3 with the frequency of the next class interval that is we are going to add 3 and 5 and we get 8. Now we are going to add 8 with 7 to get the next cumulative frequency. So that is equal to 15. So I am going to write all the cumulative frequencies first and then explain you step by step. So for the next term we are going to add 15 and 10, these two and we get 25. To get the next one we are going to add 25 with 12 so we get it as 37 and then we are going to add 37 with 15 so we get it as 52 so repeating the same pattern we are going to get at the end that is 72 plus 8 gives us 80 so this is what you need to get at the end of the cumulative frequency so it verifies that you have done the cumulative frequency steps in the correct way now once we have got this let us find out the median class now to find the median class we have to make use of this formula that is n over 2 
n represents the total number of observations or in this case it is total number of students and total number of students we have here is 80 so we are going to take it as 80 over 2 and that gives us 40 now once we get this number we can either look at the cumulative frequency or we can look at the frequency to find the median class I am going to refer to the frequency column so here we need to keep on adding the frequencies successively till we reach the number 40 or we get a number above 40 now let us see 3 plus 5 is 8 8 plus 7 is 15 15 plus 10 is 25 25 plus 12 is 37 37 plus 15 is 52 as we got here and this is the number which is larger than 40 so 50 to 60 becomes our median class because here is where we reached a number greater than 40 so you should either check whether the number is equal to 40 when you are adding the frequencies or larger than 40 so let me highlight the median class so our median class is from 50 to 60 now once we get the median class we are going to find out the median using the formula L plus N over 2 minus cumulative frequency divided by frequency now what does each thing represent now L represents the lower limit of the median class now 50 represents the lower limit and 60 represents the upper limit so here our lower limit is going to be equal to 50 then N is the number of observations or the total number of students and here we have got N as 80 so let us write here equal to 80 now CF is the cumulative frequency of class preceding the median class so here the median class was 50 to 60 so the cumulative frequency preceding the median class is 37 that is just above the median class so 37 is going to be the CF so let us write here this is equal to 37 then F is the frequency of the median class as we have highlighted here the frequency of the median class is 15 so we are going to write here equal to 15 and H is the class size or the width of the class size so here we can see that the width of each class interval is 10 that is 10 minus 0 is 10 20 minus 10 is 10 30 minus 20 is 10 and so on so the width of all the class intervals is 10 so we are going to write here H that is the class size is equal to 10 now simply we have to plug in all these values in the formula to get the median so let me write here so median is equal to lower limit which we got 50 plus n over 2 n was 80 so 80 divided by 2 gives us 40 minus cumulative frequency was 37 over frequency is 15 times h which is the class size is 10 now simplifying it further we have 50 plus 40 minus 37 gives you 3 over 15 times 10 now 3 and 15 go in the table of 3 so 3 1 times and 3 5 times is 15 next 5 and 10 again go in the table of 5 so 5 1 times is 5 and 5 2 times is 10 so here you get 50 plus 2 which is nothing but 52 so this is the median which we had to find now let us move on to find the mode now to find the mode we are going to make use of the same table and we will begin by finding the modal class first now to find the modal class we look at the frequency column and choose the class which has the highest frequency so here we can see that 15 is the largest frequency of all and it belongs to the class 50 to 60 so this becomes our modal class so let me highlight it now once we have found out the modal class we are going to find out the mode by using the formula L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 times F1 minus F0 minus F2 times H now what does each term represent L again represents the lower limit of the modal class 50 is the lower limit and 60 is the upper limit so here since we are referring to the lower limit we have L as 50 then H is the size of the class interval since it is the same table which we have referred here also we have the class width as 10 now F1 is the frequency of the modal class and we can clearly see here that the frequency of the modal class is 15 so we are going to write here 
f1 is 15. Then f0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. And the frequency which is preceding or which is above the modal class is 12. So here f0 is 12. And finally, we have f2 which is the frequency of the class succeeding or which is below the modal class. So the frequency which is below the modal class is 12. So here we are going to write f2 as 12. Now again, we have to plug in all these values in the formula to get the mode. So let me substitute here. So the lower limit is 50. So we have substituted here in place of L50 plus F1 is 15 minus F0 is 12 divided by 2 times F1 that is 2 times 15 minus F0 is 12 minus F2 is 12 times the class width or the size of the class interval is 10. Now further simplifying this we have written the steps 50 plus 15 minus 12 gives us 3 in the numerator over 2 times 15 is 30 minus 12 minus 12 times 10. Then 50 plus 3 over 30 minus 12 minus 12 gives us in the denominator 6 times 10. Now here 3 and 6 go in the table of 3 that is 3 1 times and 3 2 times. And then we can see that 10 and 2 go in the table of 2. So we get 2 1 times as 2 and 2 5 times is 10. So here we get the mode as 50 plus 5 which is nothing but 55. So this is the mode of the given data. Now let us move on to the OR question. If the mean of the following frequency distribution is 91, find the missing frequencies x and y. So here we can see that in the table the classes are given as group data. And the total frequency is given and we have two missing frequencies that is x and y. So we need to find out what are the values of x and y. And in the question the value of the mean is also given which is 91. So we have redrawn the table over here that is classes and the frequencies are written. And along with that we have extended the table and written here the class marks that is xi. And then we are going to multiply the class marks xi with the frequencies. Now what is the class mark? Class mark is the midpoint or the middle value of the given classes. Now to find that we have to just add the upper limit with the lower limit and divide it by 2. For example 30 plus 0 is 30 divided by 2 gives us 15. Next to find the class mark between 30 and 60 we are going to add 30 with 60 which is 90 and we are going to divide 90 by 2 which gives us 45. Now using the same procedure that is adding the lower limit and upper limit and dividing them by 2, let us write values of rest of the class marks. Next, once we get all the class marks, we are going to multiply the frequencies with their respective class marks. So for the first one, we are going to multiply 12 with 15. So we get 180. Similarly, 21 times 45 will give us 945. Then x times 75 will give us 75x. Then 52 times 105 will give us 5460. Then y times 135 will give us 135y. Then finally we have 11 times 165 which is 1815. Now once we get this we are going to make use of the formula to find the mean which is so mean is equal to sum of all the fi times xi terms divided by sum of all the frequencies. So let us first find out what is the sum of all the fi times xi terms. So we have the table ready so we are going to add up all the terms together. So sum of fi times xi we have added all the terms and combining the like terms that is combining the numbers only that is adding 180 plus 945 plus 5460 and 1815 we get the value as 8400 and we are going to keep the x and y terms same. Now let us focus on the denominator that is sum of all the frequencies. So let us add all the frequencies and we know the total frequency as well. So we have, so sum of fi is the sum of all the frequencies. I have written it already over here. That is 12 plus 21 plus x plus 52 plus y plus 11. Now sum of all the frequencies, the total is given in the question as 150. So we will write 150 here is equal to now adding all the like terms that is adding all the numbers we get 96 plus x plus y. 
Now let us take 96 on one side of the equal to sign. So it gets subtracted from 150. So we get x plus y is equal to 54. That is subtracting 96 from 150. Now let us consider this as our equation 1. Next, let us focus on this formula that has mean is equal to sum of fi xi over sum of all the frequencies. Since the value of mean is given as 91 and sum of fi is also given as 150 and sum of fi xi we got it as 8400 plus 75x plus 135y. Let us substitute all these things over here and start solving in the given formula. So here substituting we get, I have written the formula again over here for easy reference. So mean is 91, sum of fi xi is its value over 150. So let us take 150 and multiply it with 91 and we get here 13650 is equal to 8400 plus 75x plus 135y. Now let us take 8400 on the other side of equal to sign and we get 5250 is equal to 75x plus 135y. Now these are quite big numbers so always think if the equation can be simplified further to get smaller numbers. So here we can see that all the three numbers are divisible by 15. So dividing each term by 15 the equation reduces as 350 is equal to 5x plus 9y. Now let us consider this as our equation 2. Now we have two equations over here. So we are going to perform here simultaneous equations and I am going to use here elimination method to find out the value of x and y. So let me rewrite the equations again. Now here since I am using the elimination method, I am going to multiply the entire second equation by 5 which is the coefficient of x. So the first equation is exactly the same and the second equation becomes 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times y is 5y is equal to 5 times 54 is 270. Now next let us change the sign of the second equation completely. So the plus 5x becomes minus 5x, plus 5y is minus 5y and plus 270 is minus 270. So plus 5x and minus 5x will add up and cancel out each other or they add up to 0. Then plus 9y and minus 5y gives us 4y is equal to 350 minus 270 gives us 80. So here we have got 4y equal to 80. So next we are going to find out the value of y. That is y is equal to 80 over 4 and 80 goes in the table of 4 that is 4 1 times and 4 20 times is 80. So we got the value of y as 20. Next using the value of y we can find out the value of x either by using equation 1 or equation 2. Choose the easier one to find out the value of x. So I am going to use the first equation which is x plus y equal to 54. So let me write here again. So x plus y is equal to 54. So x plus 20 since y value is 20 is equal to 54 and taking 20 on the other side of equal to sign it gets subtracted from 54 and we get the value of x as 34. So these are the values of x and y that is x is 34 and y is 20 which we found by making use of the mean value given and by using the simultaneous equations. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving these examples do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.